What's up hikers? Today I'm going to be hiking Goose Eye Mountain and Carlo Cole. I am uh, at the New Hampshire side of the trailhead, but this hike is in New Hampshire and in Maine. So I think that's pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, it's a loop hike. I'm going to hike it counterclockwise, I believe. So I'm going to go Carlo Cole first and then save the best for last Goose Eye Mountain, which I guess has amazing views. I'm super excited. It also supposedly has a beautiful trail with ladders and rungs and all that. So let's go, let's check it out. off that logging road, I got to my first water crossing. And I should probably use my hiking poles because if I had to guess, these rocks are gonna be a little slippery. But uh, yeah. So today is a day of firsts. I saw my first moose and now I've seen my first lady slipper. They're in the orchid family. Lady slippers are a rare wildflower. So it's a treat to see those. So the first mile and a half or so of this trail, after you step off of the logging road on the Carlo Coal side, is pretty wet. <laughs> it's a little muddy. Um, there are a lot of wildflowers here and the lady slippers are thriving. They're absolutely beautiful. This forest is so misty and magical. So this hike totals seven miles round trip. It's a loop hike. I think it's about just over 2,600 feet in elevation gain. And you start off on a logging road for about a mile and then you hop into the woods. So far it's been absolutely gorgeous. Very well marked, a little bit muddy, quite a few water crossings. Almost to the summit of Mount Carlo, I'm at the exact two hour mark, so. Extremely wet trail. So I've been trying to be as careful as possible, but also trying to hurry. <laughs> supposed to be clear maybe later
just have one point, about 1.1 1 .1 miles to get over to Goose Eye Mountain. Or Mount Goose. Mount Goose High, I think, is the other name for it. <laughs> Can't wait. <gasps> what is that little guy? Possible this is a bird protecting its nest. It might chase me. I've had that happen in Washington State. <laughs> she looks like she's fluffing up her feathers. Oh, or that's a male. I'm not quite sure. Let's go I'll try to pass. So they're not letting me pass. Um, <laughs> I don't want to scare it, but I also don't really want it to chase me because. I don't want to slip. <laughs> Not that it could hurt me, but it might start me. All right. It's okay. I'm just going to pass you. Don't worry. All right, guys. So I'm point seven to Goose Eye Summit right now. I'm at the lowest point in between the two peaks, um, and yeah, 0.7 to go up. I don't think that the clouds are going to clear by the time I get up there, which is unfortunate because when I looked at the weather report, it was saying partly sunny, um, that the clouds were going to clear off, but it is very beautiful. It's very misty and it's, yeah, very serene. I love all the wildlife that I keep running into. It's just absolutely amazing. So, See how long it takes me. It's about 8.40. Um, I'm ahead of schedule, so I'm super happy about that. Let's see how long it takes me to get up there. the top. I just went up the iron rungs. I have a little cute little wood ladder. Hi guys, 
so oh i'm down to safety here that was something else that that wind uh whew, that had to have been gusting at 60. um it was really hard to stand um it was hard to breathe but i made it back down to a soft forest floor thank god and then on the wind uh, that was a really epic hike up there. I loved all the rungs and the log bridges and the ladders. That was beautiful. Um, the way back down from the summit down the Gusai Trail is very slippery when wet. <laughs> I was butt sliding basically on the rocks because um, I was just going to slip. That's what I get for hiking on a, on a wet day. Um, <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna zip back down to my car it's just absolutely ethically beautiful i don't care if i was socked in I'm on the last stretch to my car. The sun decided to come out after I was descending off the mountain, but I was on a time crunch, so I didn't have time to start later, but that's okay. It was absolutely exhilarating up there. It was beautiful, and it was, a, it was an overall an amazing hike. I did it in just over five hours, um, seven miles round trip. Not bad for a slippery hike with lots of footage. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.